So Lagrimia, Lagrima, it's uh, called, it's a teardrop, and it's by Francisco Terrigo. He was born in uh, 1852, died in 1900. He's one of the famous classical guitarists and composers from that period of time. Uh, I'm gonna go over a little bit how to play it. It's in two sections, it's in three, four time. It starts off in the key of E major, and you're playing what are, Tenths are called tenths, the interval of a tenth with the open B. So it's this little scale. So it's a really nice scale to practice, but so the melody goes G, A, B, and then it goes down to a B7 chord. So it's an E major. Seven chord, and then you're going to go up to an E. Let me show you that again. So you got F sharp minor. score here it's uh, I've got the fingering from Aaron Shearer who's one of the great teachers and I, I work with him on this piece and some several other pieces so I've got his fingering includes some a little bit maybe a little bit different fingerings to get tone and different sounds you notice the, the last E chord is this instead of possibly being down here in the open position so he does the, the last E chord right here and then it changes from major to minor in the second part. So you can do a G, you slide up to a C, pull off, so. So you play open, slide up, pull off. And you're gonna play a B7, a G note, which makes it augmented. And then you got a scale of thirds. It's kind of complicated. It's on the third and fourth strings. Open. B7. Open B. And 
then you go up in thirds in this part, but it's in minor. Then you get a scale. Now the way I learned this is to keep the melody on the second string, so it's so you start D, C, B, A, G, F sharp, and then you shift down to play the E. And you play an E minor chord. It's a B7 chord. So what happens when we do that part again? So let me do the whole part real slow. That's the second part, the minor part. I'll try to put the notes and also the tab on my website. And that's a lagrima, the teardrop by Francisco Terrigo.